I love nothing more than getting back to the UK, getting on the open road, knowing where I'm driving, just being able to drive and the freedom of the road. I keep using the um, windscreen wipers as my indicator, which is still doing my head in a bit because they're the wrong way around. I've got the music going to keep me awake. Landed. I was absolutely wasted, tired, got into the shuttle bus to go and collect the rental car, get to the rental car location and they turn around and tell me that unless I pay an extra $1,200, I will have to pay a $2,000 excess if something happens to the car, like I'm in a car park, somebody scratches my car and I don't see them do it. So I'd have a $2,000 excess and I was so tired and so exhausted that I just didn't even know what to do or where to go. So I basically said no to the woman and I got in the car and I sat in here for about an hour. It was steaming hot, I was super tired and I was just like, oh my God, like what am I supposed to do? So then I sort of did a ring around and a friend of mine said, go online and go and get uh, the excess sorted with um, an, a company on the internet. So I went to rentalcover.com and 250 bucks is all the excess cost me. I couldn't even fucking believe it. So angry with that woman. I mean, talk about taking advantage of you when you're really tired and she was like, well, you know, if something happens to your car, if something happens to your car, it's gonna be 2,000 pounds, oh, which is $4,000, no less. So yeah, so I sorted it out for 250 New Zealand dollars, which is like 125 quid versus the 650 quid that that stupid bin was trying to charge me. And I was supposed to drive to Ali's and get there for the night. It was only about an hour something drive and I was just too wasted. So I got, oh my God, an aeroplane just flew over my head. So I ended up uh, contacting one of my ex-boyfriends and asking if I could go and stay with him for the night, which I did which was quite amazing. And I ended up staying there for two nights. And it's a funny thing, getting, you know, seeing an old boyfriend. Um, it was actually really good to see him. Um, he's not doing so well, but I won't get into that. And my husband knows that I was there. Um, when I was in LA, I caught up with one of my ex-boyfriends over there as well, because I'm friends with all of my ex-boyfriends. I think the reason why I've remained friends with all my exes is because in our lifetime we experience things you know like we did crazy shit together and I don't want to lose those people in my life because I like to reminisce I like to reminisce about old times and there's nobody better to do that with than with the person that you had the experience with his mum was there his sister was there this is the boyfriend in um, England ex-boyfriend in England and we just caught up and we chewed the fat and we had such a great time and it was just really nice to you know this is from 30 years ago so it was it was it was it was a good time so now i'm in the car and i'm heading to alley's and i'm going to be there for like the next two days then i'm going to go down to another girlfriend in bath and then it's on to my mum's but it's a good day, I've had a great time, and I'm I feel like I'm really coming back to life. The, the jet lag's been really bad. Like I woke up at six o'clock this morning so that I could finish editing the last video, so that I could, you know, obviously upload it for Wednesday, which is my promise. So I did it, I finished it. It's a little bit clunky, so forgive the uh, editing on the last video, but you know, still learning. One day at a time is what I say. Anyway, my darling's gonna crank up this music. I'm gonna have a fantastic day and I'll upload this baby. And if you like my video, please do give us a big thumbs up. And I would love some more subscribers. It's so fantastic. I got a subscriber today and I was like, whoa, I got another one. <clears throat> so all of you are so, so precious to me. So please do subscribe and please like and comment. I want to hear from you. I want to answer your questions and I really want to get to know everybody. So look, have a beautiful day and uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya.